So after the question has been met in the question bank, so just go back to our course. Okay. Add an activity. Select quiz. Add. So write the name of the quiz. Write the description. Okay. After that, set the timing. So when the quiz will be open. When the quiz will be closed. Okay. Time limit. So one. So the student can attend the quiz between these two dates and when they start the, the quiz they have to finish the quiz in a, uh, in a given time so in this case 10 minutes so they can start any time that they want but once they start they only have 10 minutes to complete the quiz okay so the rest just leave it at this default the grade you leave it as default okay so you can attend allow. So you, you can set how many time you allow the student to, to, to attend the quiz. Okay. So let's say three times. So it's up to you. In the grading method, so you can choose the highest grade. So if the student attend three times, then the only the highest grade for one of the quiz will be, uh, counted. Average grade, okay, first or last attempt. Okay. I will put higher grade. Layout. Okay. So question order shuffle randomly. So if they have ten questions, then each of the is if you choose a shuffle randomly, then the question will be shuffled randomly. So different student will get uh, the same question, but maybe in different order. So new page. Okay. So you can have a page for every questions. So navigation methods. So I will suggest you to choose sequential. So that means that the student cannot go back to the previous questions. Okay. And for every page, they only have one question. Okay. So after they answer the question one, they can go to the question two, but they cannot go back to the question one. Question behavior, shuffle within questions. So the answer will be shuffle. So just leave it as default. Review option. So this is very important. So immediately after the attend, okay, we only show the student the marks, but not the answer, okay, or whether the question is correct or wrong. Okay. You just uncheck this one. So you don't want to give it the uh, correct answer. So later while the quiz is open, so still show them the same thing, accept the correct answer. So after the quiz is closed, so they can get the correct, uh, right answer. Okay. So if you want to learn more, you can click on this. It will explain what it's all about during the attend, after the attend, later after they have attend, but the quiz is still open and after the quiz is closed. And for each of these, you also can click and see the description. So this is a setting that I recommend you to do. Of course, you can customize it according to your wish. Appearance. Okay, you just leave it as default. So the activity completions. So I will show activity as complete when conditions are met. So student must view and student must receive grade. And then save and display. Okay, save and display. So you have done the setting for the quiz. So the next thing you have to do for the administration of the quiz, the next thing you have to do is need to add, add the questions. So you go to edit quiz. Okay, so this is where you can add the questions. So the maximum grade is, let's say, two. So I only have want to have two questions. So you can add a random questions from chapter two, for example. Okay. So 
I can remove the questions. So this is a wrong one. So now I have a one random question from chapter one. So I can add a random question from chapter two. Just add. Okay, so this is how it look like. So one is done. So the maximum mark is two. I can just click save. And after you have done this, you can go to this panel, just click preview to preview your quiz. Okay, so this is how you set up the quiz.